Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Modio Skills Session. This is Holly Rice with the Modio Marketing Team, and today we are talking about Cognos upgrades, more specifically, how to make them easier and less painful. Today's presenters are Jeff Dean and Edwin Van Megasen, both with Modio, and they help customers achieve BI success through best practices and use of Modio software solutions. And I believe they've both had the pleasure of experiencing some Cognos upgrades. But before they get started, let's take care of just a few housekeeping items with the webinar platform. So you'll notice at the bottom of your screen a menu with some colorful icons. Those control all the slides and widgets um, and windows that are available to you. So get familiar with those. If you experience any sort of lag on your screen, just try to refresh it and that should take care of it. But if you still have issues, that yellow icon with the question mark can get you in touch with someone right away if you are still experiencing technical difficulty issues. And we will have a brief Q&A session after the presentation. So at any point during um, Jeff and Edwin's presentations, you have any questions, go ahead and submit those, and that's that purple Q&A icon. We also have a very short survey that we would appreciate you completing for us. Just three questions. We want to hear how we're doing, how we can make our webinars better, and also find out from you what sort of topics you're interested in for future webinars. And the million dollar question we always get asked, Yes, we are recording, so you will have access to the recorded version of this webinar after we're finished. And lastly, as mentioned in our marketing emails, everyone who attends live today will receive an upgrade kit, and that includes a recording of this webinar. It also includes the white paper on the methodology that will be presented today, and also another recording of a webinar about our Thea software and how it can help you with upgrades as well. So with that, I will turn it over to Jeff. Thanks, Holly. I appreciate that. And as a lead into our presentation, I wanted to share with you the result of the question that you were asked when you registered. And that question was, when will you upgrade Cognos? Well, 10% of you said before 2017 which means you're going to have a very interesting holiday season. 20% indicated in the first quarter of 2017. Another 20% said after the first quarter. And a whopping 49% said, I just don't know, which is understandable. And it's one of the reasons for this webinar. Now, there are a keen 1% of you out there that are actually doing the upgrade right now during this webinar. So hopefully you're using Modio CI technology. So when we look at upgrade and upgrade success, what we're really talking about is replacing that time-intensive manual testing with automation. And this gives you the ability to test all of the assets, not just that supposed representative sample that we typically test with. It's also about providing a process and a methodology that ensures that the data is accurate before the upgrade, and after the upgrade, plus giving you complete visibility into the content quality across the board. It's critical that we are able to see and document not only the performance in the Cognos 10X platform, but more importantly, to assess the impact of the upgrade on performance and to know where a fix is required. And over the years, I've seen a numerous number number of Cognos upgrades that take more than six months, and that is just way too long. And it's not just about delivering a completely upgraded application in a timely manner. You also need to be able to communicate the insight and the guidance to all of your stakeholders across the board, those people that are impacted and affected by the actual upgrade itself. And Modio CI provides a Cognos package and a set of report, reports to help bridge this gap. As a project manager, you need to be able to reduce the time and the risk associated with the upgrade. 
you need to have the ability to apply process and methods to the upgrade, which allow you to better manage that end-to-end -end upgrade. And at the end of the day, none of us can afford to be in a position where we have to tell the people who we support and the people that are leveraging Cognos that you can't provide them any new reports or any new guidance or information because you're tied up in the middle of some gigantic upgrade project because they really don't care. We need to do everything possible to get through the upgrade as quickly as we can to be able to drive that adoption of the new environment and the assets your upgraded Cognos platform provide. So when we look at upgrading Cognos, of the five steps, you already do steps one and two to a certain degree. And Modio CI not only streams those, or streamlines those, but allows you more control over steps three, four, and five. And Edwin will demonstrate these following the slide presentation. And for those on the call today, we're also going to provide you with an important guide from our friends at Lodestar Solutions. And if you haven't reviewed or seen the recent webinar they did around being prepared to upgrade for Cognos Analytics, um, you should really take a look on their website. I know that it was, it was recorded. As we started looking at the, our various customer base, we started surveying them and we found that the average number of 75 companies, the average number of reports they have in their production content store is 14,380 reports. Now, I know that you're saying to yourself, there is no way we have that much in our content store. I would be willing to bet, much like those people that we've been working with, you'd be very surprised to find out what's actually in your production content store. But for sake of today, we're going to assume that we're going from Cognos 10.2x to 11.0.x for 5,000 reports. And as we look at the first two processes, the, um, the first two steps, preparing the upgrade and getting ready, that's an obvious one. The second step is key and not always done because there's a lack of a safety net. And Modio CI provides that safety net and allows you to narrow the scope. And so we're going to start with a Cognos 10.2x sandbox and run the baselines for all of our reports. And I know that many of you are thinking, why would, why would I do this? I don't have time, I don't have resources, it seems like a waste. Well, what this does is it gives us a known starting point that we can go back to at any point or any stage. Plus it allows us to identify what's not working in our current production environment. And those items for our upgrade project are out of scope. So we can prove the state of the application before and after the upgrade to Cognos Analytics. The next step is to upgrade the sandbox to Cognos 11.0.x. And once you've done that, you rerun your test cases. You're checking the baselines for outputs, formats, data validity, performance stability, to ensure that not only was the upgrade successful, but you also have a documented way to show that you've introduced or not introduced uh, things as a result of your upgrade. And now that you've validated all of that information, you've got an estimate, you've got a, a workload that you can start with. And don't forget that Modio CI includes a set of Cognos reports and a package so you can quickly and easily share that information with your stakeholders. So now it's time to look at the repairs. So because of the baseline we've done, we know that we have 4,000 reports that are in scope and 200 reports that have to be fixed and reviewed. So the first thing we're going to do is freeze production. Okay, I know all of you were on mute and you're laughing. You're saying there is no way I could freeze production for two weeks or six months. But by leveraging Modio CI, we're able to actually freeze production in time, knowing what's changed from the point of the snapshot until the very end when we're ready for cutover. And as we start fixing items, you're able to communicate that information and, and the results of the continuous testing and manage that progress. There's, there's no more guessing. 
as to where you are and how long it will take to be able to complete the project. And as I said, we have included reporting that makes that communication process uh, very straightforward and very streamlined. And so now it's time to do the upgrade. And you're going to upgrade your, your production environment as you normally would. You're following IBM standards and procedures. You're following your own proven practices and internal processes. And if you recall, we froze production in time. And because we continued to monitor it over the previous four steps, we know what's changed and what hasn't changed in your current production environment. So those are the only items that we need to review as we take the next step. And now we're ready to promote the 4,000 items, including the 200 that were labeled fix with a single click. And then it really is time for us to celebrate. Now we will go through and demonstrate how you can have immediate insight, leverage automated testing across all of the content, not just a limited set, be able to provide the organization and the people you work with the information they need to be up to date on the project status, and finally, being able to reduce those post-upgrade issues and altogether delivering a more successful upgrade and less time with reduced risk. And with that, Edwin, I will turn it over to you. Uh, thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> so, so let's take a look how this actually works in, uh, in Cognos and in uh, Modio CI. So I have here um, a recorded video. And it's, as you can see, uh, on the left side, I have my production environment and I have set up my sandbox. And both are monitored by, uh, by Modio CI. Um, so we know what's in those environments and then we version it and we can test it. So I have set up three test cases here, one for the HR reports, uh, one for the sales reports, and also for the queries that we had in this, uh, in this environment. Um, as you can see, I ran the test cases and they're all successful. Um, so they're all working and I captured the output in PDF and in, in the SQL so I know what the status is of the environment. I also ran the uh, sales reports, but what you see here is that we have a failure. Um, this report uh, had a problem and I disabled the test case so I don't have to run it again and it's, it's marked as uh, a failure and I can put it out of scope. So if I take a look here, I can see that the row count stability was failing. So what's going on here? Well, the row count is zero. Well, what does that mean? So if I open this report, I see a blank report. Well, I, I don't know how this ended up in production, but uh, it is. And I can communicate with the business that this report is no part of the upgrade, and this failure is not caused by the upgrade. It's out of scope. And I do that by marking the report here with a label called out of scope broken report. So I can send a report to the business uh, owner saying, hey, these are the reports that I don't, won't take into scope. Uh, these are not my problem. Okay, so um, I have, uh, I've run my baseline, like uh, Jeff said that I should do. I know exactly what's running fine in my uh, current environment, what is broken. Uh, I have captured the output and I have captured the, the performance, how long does a report run. Um, so with this baseline, I can start uh, the next step, which is upgrading uh, my sandbox environment to a Cognos 11 uh, version. So, and when I have done that, then uh, I will go back to Modio CI and see what's going on there. So here you can see uh, my Cognos environment. I, I renamed my sandbox to Cognos 1104, um, and you can see that that my test cases are ready to uh, to be run. My one disabled uh, test case is still out of scope, um, and I could kick them off. I could do that at night, and I could schedule that. Um, so that I don't have to wait for that. As you can see, Modio also captured a new version of the report and some changes were uh, created during the upgrade. So uh, IBM updated the specs of the report and that's been captured by, uh, by Modio CI. So the next step would be selecting the reports. I kick them off manually. You can schedule it as well. 
uh, and they will go to uh, uh, to the pending stage and waiting to uh, to be executed in um, uh, in Cognos. Okay, so that <clears throat> that's done. The test cases are running. Um, and uh, when I come back the next day, I can take a look at the result with my team, uh, and I can start start working on and assessing the the impact of the uh, of the upgrade. So I go into Modio CI the next day, and I look at the results to see well uh, how did the report run uh, when I compare them with my um, baseline that I set in Cognos 10.2. Um, if I go to the sales reports, I can see that they're all running fine. There are no problems except that one report that's out of scope um, and uh, no problems here. So this is looking all fine. If I want, I can look at the output and do some sanity check. I get some warnings on the queries and that makes sense. The HTML is changed. It's just a warning or information, but the CSV file hasn't changed. So the data is correct. There's no problem in my query with the output in the, uh, in the queries that I run. So I know that my queries are fine. Um, I have one failure here in, in the HR reports, um, and I want to take a look what happened here. So I can see that there are multiple errors in the output, and the CSV file has changed, the XML has changed, the SQL has changed. So what's going on here? And I can div them and see them side by side. So it doesn't really tell me what it is. It doesn't look to be the data. So if I want to compare the uh, actual Excel files, I can do that as well. And as you see here, is that the column has been shifted. So the column uh, in the G on the G2 cell has been uh, moved somehow to the G1 uh, file. I don't know why this happened, but uh, I find it out. And this could be a problem when you use this report later on for a pivot table or in other uh, ways. Uh, and this could cause an, um, cause an error. So we identified that the CSV file has output, and you can define, okay, I'm fine with this change, it doesn't really matter, I accept it. Um, and if you do so, then what you will do is um, um, adjust the baseline. So you say, okay, the new report is fine, that's my new baseline, I will kick off the test case and make sure that it's fine. Uh, or if you don't accept this change, you say, no, 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 this has to be repaired, then you go into Cognos, repair the problem, run the test case again, and then what you will find out is that the test case will be successful. At that moment, you will label uh, this report as being repaired, so you can deploy it later on to your production environment when you have up updated your production environment. So this is a sh very short overview of, um, of how it works in Modio CI. Um, and, and how Modio CI can help you by automating the testing and don't do it manually and capture the, uh, the output in the Cognos 10 environment and capture the output in the Cognos 11 environment and compare them uh, easily and don't spend that much time on testing.